Well, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D Field here, bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. All right, guys, this is gonna be another. Uh, I can't even talk right now. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm time. I'm recording this, so uh, excuse my language. But yeah, this is gonna be another solo episode, and um, I've been watching a fair amount of uh, videos on YouTube, and I finally find found the best way to make a regenerating wall. And this involves a lot of lava buckets. So um, I've basically almost done with mine on Factions Green. Insanity was helping me a little bit earlier. So I'm almost done. The I'm done. Well, I, actually, I'm not even close to being done. So I finished almost uh, three-fourths of this wall. And then I need to do the, the back three walls to make it fully regenerating. Um, I'm gonna this, this episode is basically going to be a tutorial on how to do a regenerating wall. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And let's get started. So what you're gonna do, or I'm just gonna show you guys what what the what happens. All right, I need to I need to not die first. If I, I okay, so when I was making these walls, guys, I literally died. Um, I would say I probably died like two times, two or three times, and I lost everything in my inventory. I lost like, like two sets of prop four and then some god apples. I wasn't a happy person earlier this morning, so. Uh, it took a while, but I mean, it's it's a lot worth it. So I'll show you guys what I mean by regenerating. So imagine I'm a TNT cannon. And then if I try to, oh God, this is going to be hard. If I break this block, as you can see, it is being regenerated. And it just makes it very, very hard for a cannon to raid, um, you know, to TNT cannon raid somebody. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make this wall. Um, if you guys look at this wall, you guys might think that it took me ages to build this cobblestone wall going all the way down, but I'm actually going to teach you in the tutorial how to do it without uh, much effort and uh, the techniques I use to make this a lot faster. So I'm fully done with this wall. I'm going to start this wall later tonight, and then I'm going to have Insanity and Pello finish that wall and that wall. And um, by finish, I mean making it fully regenerating. Uh, it does take a long time. It does. It's very time consuming. You're gonna need to buy a lot of lava buckets from um, from the shop, but it's gonna be very much worth it. So yeah, let's get into to, into the tutorial. I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna go into a uh, single player test world. So uh, just to make it so that in creative. So there's my past build that I was doing. Let's uh, how do I turn mob spawning off? I don't even know. Whatever. Let's just do this. So what you, what you're basically gonna need is uh, let's say you're gonna need cobblestone to begin with. And then lava and water. All right, so uh, let's say, let's say I want to build this wall. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of go along with the flow. Not really planning on how I'm gonna teach you guys this, but yeah, let's just do this. So basically, let's say that that's the the very very top of where we want our wall to be. All right, so uh, let's let's pretend that we are protecting this area on the inside. So this is like, let's say this is one of our small uh, vaults or maybe even our faction base. So let's just put some fake chests in here. So some chests. So yeah, this is this is the base that we want to protect, right? So um, this is on the outside of the claim, like right right outside of our chest protecting area. And uh, so this is what you're going to do. So you're going to take some cobblestone, guys. It, it does take a long time in survival mode to, uh, to basically do this thing, but... I mean it's very much worth it and it doesn't it takes like maybe 30 minutes to actually get everything done it depend it really depends on how big your wall is so uh, what you're gonna do is make a single cobblestone layer just like this just going across however long you want it so if I want my regenerating wall to be this long then I'm gonna make it that long so let's say I just want a regenerating wall this long so what you're gonna want to do after is you're gonna have to actually do some maneuvering like you're gonna you're gonna have to do some planning like what I did was um, in the end I made this first layer first so basically what I did was I made it around in a full circle like this and then what I did was I would jump to my base in the middle like if you guys can remember my base layout and then what I did was I basically went a little bit to the like under to this and then I, I built another base just to help you walk around and maneuver up there and uh, place the lava because the placing the lava at the beginning is the hardest one of the hardest parts that it took me a while to figure out how to do so as you guys can see I build a second layer here as like a platform that I can walk around and place lava on so uh, let's let's continue with the tutorial so what you're gonna want to do as I said is make a second layer down here so if this is my main wall I'm gonna want this to be a second layer here where I can basically be able to reach that main wall there so Alright, so here's the first step. 
you're gonna need a bunch of lava bu bunch of lava buckets for this portion so make sure you guys uh stock up on some money and then buy it from the shop so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a lava source block on each one of these blocks so as you guys can see across the entire top across every single one you're gonna need a lava source block this is just to begin this is an auto building cobblestone wall at the very very start so so as you guys can see this lava is starting to pour down so you're gonna want to let it hit all the way to the very very bottom if you don't if you don't wait water flows faster than lava and then it messes up a bunch of stuff so I recommend really just waiting until this hits the very very bottom so we're gonna wait for that to happen and then while we're waiting, uh, we could talk about the defense a little bit. So this defense is really, 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 really useful as if you're uh, defending um, against a faction who knows how to use uh, hybrid cannons. Um, if you guys uh, just want to give them a harder time, and then they ha they'd have to come up with a better cannon. This is this is the method to use. So as you guys can see, you have to place uh, basically lava buckets all through here and make it source blocks on the very very bottom of the of your initial cobblestone layer so if you guys look at the cobble now or look at the lava now this is gonna be the size of my cobblestone wall alright so as you can see it's hitting the bottom so then we can continue now what you're wanna you're, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna you're gonna probably wanna set set home up here so it'll, it'll be very very easy for you to TP to the very top of your uh, wall to help you place stuff faster but set a home or do whatever you need to do ender pearls fire resistance potions whatever you need to do to get to this position so once that's finally reached the very very bottom you're gonna place a water source block on the very top of the cobble so lava lava underneath and then a water source on every single top as you can see now if you guys look very closely after I place the water basically what happens is it's gonna turn this uh, cobblestone layer it's going to turn the lava, the flowing lava, into a co into cobblestone. So as you guys can see, that is a this is a very very quick way to build a large, a very very large uh, cobblestone wall. And it literally took me not even five minutes. If you guys look, it's slowly. It's going to take some time for the for the walls to actually form, but after uh, after a given amount of time, this is obviously just going to go straight down. So yeah, this is this is your initial step, guys. So it's slowly forming down as uh, the water turns or the lava gets turned into cobble. And then our next and final step, this is the the part that becomes very, very, very time consuming, especially if you have a very, very large wall. So what you're gonna do next is, if you guys can look really quickly right now, at the moment it's not a regenerating wall. As you guys can see, it's not regenerating itself. Now to fix this, what I did. Um, on my on the faction server that we play on on factions green what I did is you're gonna need a lot of fire resistance potions for the step so I recommend making a bunch of uh, the fire resistance potion eight minute and um, I made I think I went through a, almost a double chest full of those so far and I still have three walls to go so what you're going to want to do next is you're gonna break so uh, basically since you set up a home up here you're gonna teleport up here to the very top of the water source and then you're gonna climb down into so you're gonna break through a wall that you could just walk through now this is where you need the bunch of lava buckets this is the current step I'm on for my current faction base and uh, it is very time consuming so it, it does take a very very long time to perfect this especially if you want a fully fully regenerating cobblestone wall so what you're gonna need to do is after you drink your fire resistance potion you're gonna run into the lava and then run to the very very corner of wherever the corner of your base is so this is the very corner as you guys can see there's cobble surrounding everywhere now the thing that you need to do is the reason why we have so many or why I had so many lava buckets is you need to make all of this lava into a lava source block so as you guys at the very initial start I only had a lava source block at the very top now that this is fully blocked off all this so just basically you just keep right clicking your lava and then like replacing it you're gonna need to place this all along everywhere every single block needs to be a lava source block so as you guys can see I'm just gonna try to quickly go through a couple layers and then show you guys the regenerating capabilities after you've done so so this is the part that's most time-consuming this is why it's taken me four hours recording off of well basically building off of camera with insanity uh, to finish a regenerating wall so as you guys can see all you have to do is literally slowly go through every single layer and then make it all source blocks as you guys can hear my keyboard and my mouse is just constantly clicking making sure that everything is a source block so this is the part that takes very like literally takes the longest what the heck is that 
because of the amount of time it takes to make source blocks on everything so as you guys can imagine it does take some time but this is this is the this is the profit that you guys are gonna get out of it so I made this top half or this top quarter half like the top four all into lava source blocks and now, it, now watch carefully if I break this cobblestone it is fully regenerated Did you guys see that so after a couple of seconds the cobblestone grows back because of the flowing lava and the lava source block that's placed inside. So once again, it is very time consuming, guys. It will take a very long time to get through everything, especially when you need to buy a, a lot of lava. But that's what the shop for. That's what the shop is for. And honestly, this is one of the best defenses you can have against hybrid TNT cannoners. Not only do you make one hybrid proof wall it's not really hybrid proof but it makes it a lot harder this is one wall here as you guys can see this is one wall but if i go around there's a second wall over here so if you guys look very carefully there's one two cobblestone walls that they have to break until they finally reach the inside of your base so yeah these aren't lava source blocks here but what happens is you place lava source here and then they'll slowly form into cobblestone as you guys can see right there so yeah guys basically that's it this is my quick tutorial all you're gonna are you're basically just gonna follow these exact steps for like a wall over here and then a wall over there and then a wall over there and then you have your cobblestone regenerating walls um thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys learned something new i hope to see a lot more of these walls present on the faction servers it is it makes it a lot a lot a lot a lot harder to raid especially if um you're guarding a very strong faction base or a vault this just makes it a lot harder as you guys can see the the cobble wall generator the very initial step is very very easy to do it's a little time consuming at first to make the the steps but then um once you're done doing that it's it's very simple it's just cakewalk so yeah this is d field thank you guys for watching make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that like button i really do appreciate all the likes that i'm getting recently um that's it for today's video. Hopefully, I see more cobblestone regenerating walls on the faction servers. And yeah, that's D Field. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.